Hey guys, Matt here. Uh, today is going to be kind of a different type of video. Um, it's going to be a Q&A video. I have a video out there that is pretty popular. It, it's it's pretty popular for me. It's got 461,000 views right now. It says, is your computer crashing? Find out and find out why in five minutes. And I don't feel like typing. There's 589 comments. I'll go through some of the most t t uh, typical uh, type of comments. So... Um, it says my mini dump folder is empty. This is by far and away like the number one comment. So if your mini dump folder is empty, you need to, well, on a Windows 10 PC, we'll just go this PC. You just want to right click this PC or if it says your computer, right click that. And you want to make sure that um, under, I think it's under system protection. It's been a while since I did this. Yeah, System Protection, Advanced, and then Settings. Automatic Memory Dump. You're going to go from Automatic to Small. Make sure that's on Small. So once again, let's take a look at that. Write an event, automatically restart, or don't restart if you don't want to. Uh, small Memory Dump, and where will that Memory Dump go? It's going to go to System Root. So... System root, if we just do this right down here, let's type in, I'm typing around a microphone right now, so hang on. System root, percentage sign. Our system root is going to be Windows, and in here, if we ever crashed, there would be a mini dump folder right around here, under the M's, of course. So why uh, why don't you get a mini dump? It, even after you config configure these settings, you may not have a mini dump. Uh, that is usually due to a physical issue with the computer, uh, like heat, um, electrical. Uh, it just shuts off automatically. Boom. It has nothing to do with Windows. So typically, if Windows crashes, yeah, you're going to get a mini dump. All right, let's go down to the next one. Um, so what if I got an image name, unknown image? Well, you're probably in deep shit. Excuse the French there. But uh, yeah, it, it may not, it, it, this, this analyzer, the mini, mini dump analyzer is not perfect. It does not figure out the issue every time. It's around 75% perfect uh, or effective, not perfect, um, when I use it at work. Um, so yeah, I use this maybe once a week to find out why somebody's laptop or desktop is crashing. And uh, yeah, it's it's not always perfect. Sometimes you're like, ah, oh, great. If it's not, if you if you get an unknown image, you can go ahead and try doing a RAM test. There's plenty of RAM testers out there, and I have actually have a video on my channel on how to test your RAM. And even Windows 10 has built-in RAM testers, which I'll I'll probably make a video on too. <clears throat> So let's just keep going. Well, I can't even get to that page before it crashes. That's pretty bad. Try safe mode. This is one of the most useful tutorials on YouTube. Thank you. Well, thank you. I don't have a mini dump file. Address that. I don't have a mini dump file. Yep, so... All these, thank you for subscribing. So all of these, uh, most of these questions are just, hey, I don't have a mini dump. Um, I have <laughs> nine dumps in my mini dump. What do I do? Analyze the latest one by date. Da, da, da. Thank you for not being a lazy ass. Someone told me that. Well, I was a lazy ass today. I just had to get off my ass and do this because people keep asking questions. I couldn't even find many dump. Again, I think I've addressed that with the first comment. Yeah, unknown image. Yeah. Let's see. Create video, but my username field is blank. Process is SV host. You got to really look at that uh, mini dump um, file 
or, or the the analyzed uh, data that comes back. All right, so my PC plas- uh, my PC crashes when playing games. So there you go. It says ATI. Well, it's your video card. Sorry. Hey. Three weeks ago, I'll answer. Oh, I can't sign in right now. Damn it. I'm on a virtual machine. Oh, I didn't know I'd do hey that. Hey, guys, it's Matt. Hey, stop. I'm... Okay. Yeah, it's your video card. ATI is an ATI card. Now we're getting closer to where we were. Yeah, I realize this video is very targeted to a certain, uh, um, certain amount of people that just watch this video. I have corrupt memory. <laughs> uh, test your RAM. See? This guy found out this was the cause of his crash. It's pretty good. Yeah, lots of unknown images. Yeah, I feel I feel sorry for you guys, but really, really, like I said, take a look at that analyzation. It may give you an actual file name, and you can you can go really further with the file name than the actual image name. Yep, right there. It says I got my I got image name, and then bang, he's got a file name right there. So that's what's causing his crash. Yeah, my dump is 800 megabytes. You didn't do a small dump. Small mini dump. And there's like a billion uh, people laughing at work when I talk about dumps. But, yeah. I have this. I would take this right here. It's always it's usually a .sys file. And I would look that up on YouTube. Uh, YouTube. Google and see what that is exactly. Because I have no idea. Very concise, clear, and helpful. Thank you. Thank you. So obviously I can't go through 900 comments right now, but um, it seems to be I can't find my dump or it's an unknown module image name. Yeah, image name, NTFS. Damn, probably have a hard drive, bad hard drive. <clears throat> so it looks like the tutorial I did previously to this video um, actually helped a lot of people out and it made a few people uh, they're kind of confused on you know where to go but uh, yeah I don't think I really have to <laughs> even look at many more of these they're all the same unknown image or I can't find my dump Anyway, uh, I guess that's it. I don't know. I don't put on unskippable ads ever, by the way. I don't know who said that. I do just whatever the ads are default for the video. I wouldn't do that to anyone. <sighs> Next video, uh, video series is going to be on bloatware. I'm looking for new antivirus for work and for my clients. And um, a lot of the antivirus these days is just bloaty. And, um, so I'm going to be testing that out soon, possibly in the next few days. Hmm. I don't really see anything else here. Eh. Do you think you can go a little slower? You can slow down the video always. Just rewatch it. I don't get that. It's just stupid. Why would you even say, do you think you could slow down? Just rewatch the video. Hey. <laughs> While watching this video, my computer blue screened. Yeah, it sucks. Memory corruption, test your RAM. All right, yeah, all these comments are basically the same. All right, guys, um, that's it for this video. I, I know it's very targeted, and I'm sorry if you're looking for something else. But the next video, like I said, will be on looking for a slim but effective antivirus for work and for um, home and my clients and things like that. So talk to you later.